Assalamu alaikum. Your Excellency Abdullah Hamoud, State Minister, those the Prime Minister. Excellency Ambassador Jama Aidid, Somalia Ambassador to Turkey, Ambassadors, Government Officials of Turkey and Somalia, our host and Director General Dr. Ali Sheikh, other members of East Africa Association, professors, known academics, researchers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Subhan Aksan, good morning. It is my pleasure as the Minister of Planning, Investment, and Economic Development of Somalia to join you at the East Africa Annual Development Forum theme Turkish Somalia Partnership, whose objective is to bring together academics, civil society, business people, and policymakers of our two nations for the sole purpose of advancing the interests of our two people. I'm impressed by the renowned researchers and academics at this forum. Many of you have traveled from far to take part in, this, in these discussions towards fostering a stronger and progressive collaboration between Turkey and Somalia. We appreciate the interest in this theme. It is indeed a privilege to welcome you and encourage the timely discussions in initiating concrete strategies and policies for the development of Somalia and its partnership with Turkey moving forward. Turkish engagement in Somalia started in 2011 in response to the famine which severely devastated the country at, the time, at that time, followed by the unprecedented visit of the Turkish Prime Minister, now President, His Excellency President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. That visit sparked the alliance, close friendship, and partnership between the two nations. In addition, Turkish success in aid and development assistance to Somalia has inspired many partners to review their approach. These development assistance and models include thousands of scholarships and students, businesses, and large support in the security sector. Despite the past constraints and obstacles, it is obvious that the, the potential upside of private investors and partnerships is huge. And will not only lead, it will not only lead to profitable outcomes, it will also strengthen national economic resilience and generate employment. As importantly, and supported by our, by our close partners, we are developing a major anchor and ancillary investment project and projects to lay the foundation for greater market connectivity, including trade and energy. The untapped potential of Somalia is huge. Not a single sector currently operates fully to the maximum, not even at the regional frontier level. So the early market entrants can not only shape the market, they can also rapidly expand, creating viable businesses in the long run. The high growth sectors open to investment in Somalia include agriculture, as crops, livestock, and fishes, energy, financial and insurance markets, healthcare, education, transportation, ICT, trade, public sector service delivery, and construction. We have adopted a right financing approach to development where we focus not only the supply of finance but rather of channeling finance to support the viable high rate of return investment that can be replicated, thereby contributing more strongly to the national economic and social development. Critical also is unblocking obstacles that impede the expansion of private investment, and we therefore pursue partnerships in all key areas of economy and services. Our strategy is very clear. We understand our challenges and limitations in the recovery process. However, we are enthused by our enormous yet untapped potential and resources, which we believe will be the stimulus for our short to medium term growth opportunities. We further note the Turkish aid model, wherein aid is not limited to humanitarian, but allied with investments for mutual growth. It is our government's strategy and desire to strengthen our partnership with Turkey to develop investments that support growth, revenues, and employment. 
As we develop a new national development plan, the second one is in the Civil War and the ninth one is in its independence, Vision 2040, a national investment strategy, I expect to see a revolution in productivity that will solve many of our most intractable problems. This is why we are looking at investments where economic rates of return are positive, where compounding of investment where compounding of investments is possible and where public and private equity can work hand in hand. Productivity growth in agriculture, the blue economy, financial markets, small scale industry, and services among other industries and markets that will be key to future growth. We must target GDP growth of around six to 7% over the next few years and new investment flows will be required to make this happen. We appreciate that due to the positive energy from Turkey, our share and genuine interest will further strengthen our partnerships in the years ahead. We anticipate this important forum through the capable researchers and scholars present here to examine the medium, longer term economic partnership, partnership possibilities beyond our current condition, which continues to change in every aspect. It is with this keen interest that I look forward to the substantive discussions that panels will have to further explore our existing partnerships and ways we can strengthen them together. Dignitaries, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your attention.